quick to do another haul video. This time, this is a makeup haul, and as you notice, I am taping in a different location. I'm not in my studio office. I am in my bathroom so that I can give y'all some up-close looks of what's in my bags because when I'm in that studio, the camera's so far away, and it's not auto-focusing, and I don't know what's going on. So, anyway, let's jump right into it. Oh, y'all like my hair? So this is the Tony wig. Um, I ordered two of these. I have two twists out in the front, my hair right here. And it's a half wig, so I have it on here. And I'm trying not to touch it so much, but it looks a lot frizzier and puffier to me than what I remember it looking like. I mean, it's right out of the box. I haven't really messed with it. I cut a little bit off the bottom but it just seems to be like a lot puffier and drawing up and I can't get it to have that look. I think I just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I mean, I like it, but it just, it's not, it doesn't look like I remember or how it looks like on videos, but whatever. Okay, so guys, I went makeup shopping this weekend and I got a little happy. So I wanna show y'all what I got. So the first place I went to was Ulta. And I got a few things from there. This is at mine. That's my daughter's. Um, I've been trying to get this palette since it came out. Lorac palettes are my favorite palettes. So this is a Lorac 2. Lorac Pro Palette 2. The Lorac palettes are my favorite palettes. I have the Lorac 1. The colors are great. And the one palette will do you. Like you can take that one palette with you. And it has all the colors that you need in there. I really don't stray away from those palettes. I mean, that is really the only palette that I have that I use regularly. And I don't really do a lot of eyeshadow looks anyway. I'm pretty basic and plain with the eyeshadow. So I just want a palette that kind of is versatile and has all the colors. So when I saw the Lorac 2 Pro Palette, I knew I wanted to get it. Primarily because the colors are cool colors. I have a cool undertone and cool colors just look better on me. And the colors in this palette are gorgeous i mean they have navies and they have grays very pretty colors in here so i know i'll have fun with this palette so i'm looking forward to playing around with this and of course you know it comes with the eye primer eyeshadow primer um, as the first one did and this was 42 dollars that's why I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes because they're kind of expensive. So when I do buy one, I'm going to use that one for the most part. Um, and then I also got the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Um, and this is for, this is oil control. Y'all, this light is off the chain, so maybe I should turn it off. Okay. So yeah, this is the D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So I had the MAC Fix Plus. But I just recently realized that that's not a setting spray. That's sort of a moisturizer for your face before you start your makeup. So yeah, I wanted to get that and see how that works. Um, then I also got some Shea Moisture products. I recently fell in love with their the Shea Moisture um, scrubs. I normally don't, if I make a scrub, if I use a scrub, it will be a scrub that I make myself. But sometimes, Especially in the winter, I'm just I just haven't been in the mood. So I had the coconut and hibiscus scrub, and this is the superfruit complex with mango butter and coffee, green coffee bean extract. So this is the scrub, and then I also got the um, soap bar. So it smells good. Um, it doesn't smell as good as the coconut and hibiscus, but that's my favorite. I love coconut so. Yeah, this smells a little more earthy. So yeah, we'll see. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I don't know why I'm just on this foundation kick, but I've been, I don't seem to be satisfied with any foundation I have, no matter how much I like it. I always feel like there's a, something better, and so all the foundations come out, and I'm just, Gotta try the foundation, but this is in the color 330 Toffee Caramel. So I've been hearing good things about it. So we shall see. I'll do a makeup look 
and see how I feel about it. I can't really tell right now if it's my color or not. Um, it smells okay. So we'll see. So that's everything from Ulta. And then next I went to Nordstrom and I just walked around all the makeup counters at the Nordstrom. I stopped first at Bobbi Brown. And I've been on the lookout for a great color corrector slash concealer. My eyes, I have dark circles under my eyes. Um, you know, I mean, it's light. Dark circles under my eyes. And I've been trying to find the right thing to get rid of them. Uh, for the most part, I just do concealer. I tried the color correcting, but I think the color that I had was a little too dark. I had like a deep orange. I think I need more of a apricot um so i went and i found the bobby brown tinted eye brightener so it's a color corrector but it also is a brightener so it has and it's in deep peach so um and i've heard great things about the bobby brown um, concealers and correctors so it looks like this it comes um, like this and it has a wand and the color is, I mean, it's not orange. It's more of a peach color. So you're supposed to put that on on where you want to cover the dark spots. And then I got the creamy concealer in warm honey. And then that would go on top of the color corrector and would neutralize that, those dark circles. So. And I, I mean, I like the concealer that I use. I have the MAC Studio Fix Concealer Pots in NC45. That's always what I've always used. And I don't have that big of an issue with them. Um, I just wanted to try this combo together and see if I like it better. So yeah, it's, it's very creamy. I mean, it's very similar to the MAC Paint Pot, so, or Paint Pot, the MAC Concealer Pot. This was the last one they have, and if y'all have been were watching YouTube over the last six months, you know all the rage with the Bobbi Brown highlighter bricks. I asked about it, and they said that this was the one they got in with a previous shipment. They had they had been sold out, but they got a shipment in, and they got three of these in that shipment just randomly. And this was the last one they had. And so I figured it was meant to be if I asked about it. And this is the last one that they had. Um, this is in Pink Glow. So this is the way the shimmer break looks. I'll turn this off. It's very light. This will be perfect for springtime. So I'm excited to try this. And probably shouldn't have gotten it but since I was there we had it felt like it was fake so I got it um, and then I was just going to all the other makeup counters and I just figured actually before we leave Bobby Brown I also got the Bobby Brown hydrating eye cream and this is all part of the under eye concealer process. Um, you know, you hydrate under the eye first, then you color correct, then you conceal, then you set. Like, it's a whole thing. I'm sure it's very creamy, creamy consistency. And it is, it's, um, I mean, it feels like silk going under your eyes. Very hydrating, very light. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels good. It also, I mean, it's like cooling. It feels cooling under my eye. I got some in my hair. So, yeah. This was a little bit of a splurge, but I figured why not. Well, hopefully that whole process works out for me. And then, while I was just walking around, I went to a few of the counters and got some sample 
foundations because I wanted to see what they were. So the first one I went to Dior and got the Star Dior Star Foundation in a sample. This is the color 50. So I'm gonna try and it looks dark in the in the sample, but I'll try it. Um, and then I also oh and I got Star 40. I got Star 40 and Star 50. That's why Star 40 looks dark because Star 50 looks light to me. Um, but I got both of them to try and see which one I like. And then I also stopped at, where did I go? This is the Studio Skin in 3.3 um, Smashbox. Smashbox, Smashbox. And I got 3.3, which actually looks like my color. Like this looks like a mixture between the two of Dior, Star Dior's that I have. So I'm gonna try that one out and see how I like it. So I figured, let me just get samples and then see which one I like before I commit. So that's all the makeup that I got, but then I had a gift card for Michael Kors. Um, I got it for my birthday and I needed to go ahead and spend it. And I had been looking at the jewelry in there and the shoes and I ended up settling on a pair of sunglasses. Their new um, collection is out. So this is the case. It's just a white case and these are the I think they're called the what are they called I don't have the receipt in here actually they sent the receipt to me and I think I deleted it but um, I think they're called the Chelsea I'm not sure um, what the name of these are but as soon as I saw them I was like yes I'm getting those because they are so cute so this is what they look like so they're the aviator style, which I love, and they're rose gold. They are so cute. And then they have the um, rose gold plating on the front. So I love these shades. Y'all wait till the summertime. Mm. I am gonna be rocking these bad boys here. They are so, they give me such life. So fly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love these. and. Yeah, rose gold. Like I, that's like gonna be the color for the summer. I have a rose gold Michael Kors watch, a little bit of rose gold jewelry, but I think I really want to do rose gold this spring summer. So I need to get my rose gold stuff up. So these shades will fit right in. So yeah, that was my little haul um, over the weekend. Um, I did, of course I got the two wigs, and they also came with earrings. And so these are a pair of the earrings. Tony Daly exclusives that she makes. They came with the wig and I love them. So yeah, that's what I got guys. So thanks for hanging with me and checking out my latest haul video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, ask me any questions that you have and like the video if you like it. And until next time, I will see you in another video.